working with the Protect 1206i. Before starting to use the Protect 1206i, it is recommended to do some preparation. Firstly, it is necessary to consider the time of the sweep and the situation. It is recommended to carry out a sweep during normal working hours in real situations with the presence of sound in the room. This is when the eavesdropper most wants to listen. In this case, it may be necessary to arrange a fictitious meeting to activate any hidden bugs. Secondly, to avoid false detections, turn off all legal RF transmitting devices before starting the sweeping procedure. These include Wi-Fi devices, routers and printers, for example, cordless telephones, cell phones, Bluetooth devices, etc. Connect the rod antenna to antenna 1 and the micro pointer microwave antenna to antenna 2 and turn on the Protect 1206i. The usual method of searching suggests using the first channel marked as antenna 1 in order to perform searches for all types of transmitters with different methods of modulation, both analog and digital. Make sure the antenna 1 is selected. Choose the operation mode with the help of the mode button. For covert procedures, use the vibration or silent modes. The sound mode is convenient for a fast search, as an experienced operator may be able to distinguish between different types of signals. The vibrating or mixed modes allow the operator to avoid constantly watching the bar graph when inspecting areas that are difficult to access. Enter the room, watching the bar graph or paying attention to the vibrator. Walk around the room continuously, watching the indicator or feeling for the vibration. The bar graph level will increase or decrease when the detector is closer to or farther away from a transmitting device. Probe all objects which may contain a hidden surveillance device. After this, the procedure of scanning the area should be repeated with the second channel, marked as Antenna 2. In this mode, the Protect 1206i will detect Bluetooth, Wi-Fi devices, and wireless cameras only, or other signals with coinciding frequencies at a greater distance. The micro pointer antenna provides great amplification, a good detection distance, and directivity for quick pinpointing. But keep in mind that the directed antenna micro pointer sees signals in its direction area only, that is, directly opposite where the detector is pointed. Therefore, scan slower while moving the detector in different directions, left, right, up, down, at a number of points in the room. If you have found a direction with a high level, approach the source while pinpointing it by moving the detector slightly. By doing this, you'll be able to locate the source. Although the rod antenna can be used for detecting signals above 3000 MHz, the micro pointer microwave antenna can give better results on these bands. Additionally, the microwave antenna gives directionally for easy pinpointing. Therefore, it is possible to use the micro pointer antenna in the left antenna 1 socket for an additional search, instead of the antenna 2 where it is as standard. Connect the micro pointer antenna to the antenna 1 temporarily instead of the rod antenna and scan the room again, taking into consideration the direction of the antenna. You'll get a better detection distance on the higher frequencies above 2000 MHz and signals on lower frequencies will be omitted. After you have found the exact location of a high field, start a physical search. Visually inspect and probe each object in the highlighted area. Disassemble, if necessary, lamps, desktop items, telephones, AC outlets, and phone outlets. Remember that a physical search is a fundamental operation during any sweep. And please remember, if you find a bugging device, do not stop. You should continue to search more carefully as eavesdroppers often install more than one device in an area.